What do you think of when you hear the words bariatric surgery? If too many complications or everyone regains all their weight back comes to mind, then you haven't taken a close look at bariatric surgery outcomes in the last decade. It's true. In its early days, bariatric surgery was not commonly performed or accepted. It was performed through large incisions and complication rates were higher. In the last 20 years though, a lot has changed. Bariatric surgery is safe. In fact, bariatric surgery is now as safe as gallbladder surgery, hip replacement, and hysterectomy with a mortality rate of 0.2%, which is far lower than most other elective operations performed today. Speaking of mortality, we also know that people with obesity have a shorter lifespan than people who are not obese. A middle-aged man with a BMI of 40 is expected to die seven years earlier than someone who is normal weight. If your BMI is 55, your life will likely be 14 years shorter. For comparison, these are the same early mortality rates seen with normal weight people who are actively smoking. Why do people with obesity die early? Because obesity causes them to develop heart disease, diabetes, and cancer more frequently than non-obese people. Bariatric surgery, on the other hand, increases life expectancy. Compared with obese patients who do not have surgery, bariatric surgery patients can expect to live 30 to 40% longer. Why? Because weight loss and metabolic improvements after bariatric surgery make the risk of heart disease, diabetes progression, and cancer decrease dramatically in most patients. Current procedures do not cause malnutrition. The two most commonly performed bariatric surgeries today are sleeve gastrectomy and gastric bypass. Both are done laparoscopically, with complication rates less than 5% and an average hospital stay of one to two days. Both procedures are effective and durable. One year after surgery in a typical patient, the average weight loss is 80 to 100 pounds for sleeve gastrectomy and 100 to 150 pounds after gastric bypass. Patients need to take lifelong vitamins after both procedures, but these are not malabsorptive operations that cause severe nutritional deficiencies. In fact, bariatric surgery patients continue to absorb every calorie and every gram of protein that they eat, and they eat a regular, healthy diet in smaller amounts and have normal bowel habits after these operations. Most patients do not regain all of their weight. Some weight gain is normal in the long run, but only 10 to 15% of patients regain a lot of weight years after surgery. Remember, we're talking about chronic condition here, and we've dramatically changed the trajectory of the disease. Most patients don't maintain their lowest weight after surgery. Their body adjusts to a new set point above that, and over time, a few pounds will come back on. Again, it's normal. Even with some weight gain, patients enjoy a better quality of life, fewer medical problems, and weigh less than if they hadn't had the surgery. Bariatric surgery should not be a last resort. Like any other chronic disease, the earlier you treat obesity and its metabolic consequences, the better the outcomes. If treated at an early stage, weight loss is better, diabetes remission rates are higher, and years of life are added. If used as a last resort in a patient with severe medical problems and limited ability to move, we can't expect the same great results. If you were told you had heart disease, you wouldn't wait until you had a heart attack to get treated, would you? We all know that if you treat cancer when it's detected early and before it is spread, the chance of a cure is much higher. The same idea applies to treatment for obesity. It's a deadly disease. So why would you wait years to get it treated? Safe, effective, durable, life-saving, Sounds like a great option to treat a life-threatening disease. Ask your doctor about referring you to a bariatric surgery program or find a program close to you by following this link.